Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. I'm actually back with a, another community lot today and we are building in the world of Magnolia Promenade, which is a world I often forget exists. It's a small commercial world that came with Get to Work, I'm pretty sure. And we're building a nail salon. So as you probably remember, when we got to the update, the refresh to Spa Day, they added in the ability to get like manicures and pedicures. And so I thought it would be fun to create a nail salon because for the first time in my life, I recently started getting my nails done. It's been something that's been helping me tremendously with skin picking and it's a really fun little self-care moment and I adore them. I currently have like spiderweb nails for Halloween and I love them so much. So uh, I wanted to create something like this in game for your Sims to go ahead and visit and get their nails done, have a nice pedicure, relax a little bit. So I hope you will enjoy this build. If you do and you'd like to download it, it will be available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can download it under my EA ID, which is Griffy, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffy, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. By the way, please excuse my voice. I'm on the tail end of a cold. And I'm currently pre-recording for TwitchCon, so there's probably going to be a few videos over the next few days that are with my voice sounding like this. So hopefully it's not too bad. It sounds a lot better than it did a couple of days ago, so I'm glad I waited to record this until now. But I just wanted to address it because I do currently have a cold. It's almost gone. It's on the way out, but uh, I feel like you can hear it in my voice. Anyway, here I am creating a little parking lot. I redrew this so many different times to try and make it work and fit the way I wanted it to. And I think it worked out okay in the end. I ended up having two handicap spots in the front and then some like compact vehicle parking off to the side. But it's going to take a while for me to get to that because I was just experimenting and trying to figure out uh, how I wanted these spaces to be laid out. And they just looked so awkward, but I do figure it out in the end. Uh, you just get to watch it uh, pop into place over time. I also wanted to create a bike rack. And at first I have it over here, but I do end up moving it closer to the door a little bit later on. Uh, it's all a process out here. Just trying to figure out how to lay everything out. It was very difficult for some reason. I didn't know at all how to do that, probably because I don't do community lots very often. And uh, I'm not good at planning out parking lots. It's not a skill set of mine. Uh, so I'm just figuring out some landscaping out front as well as making sure we have a trash can. And I wanted a really simple shape for the building uh, with lots of windows. And we end up going with a stone and a brick on the outside, which I think looks really nice in the end. I was quite happy with it. I think it very much looks like a commercial building. And uh, even though it's quite boxy, I feel like it looks OK and kind of stands on its own. It's really hard to build things like this in The Sims because in real life, most of these are just like little boxes or in a strip mall, like there is not much <laughs> variety when it comes to them. So it definitely is harder to do something like that in The Sims. But here you can see I finally figured out the parking lot situation. It lines up so much better now. I have some compact car parking over on the side and these handicap spots up front. It just, it looks so good. I, I was very happy with this. And of course the bike area and I did try to put some stuff in front of the bike area and I spent way too long on it and I think I cut it out of the footage because it took so incredibly long to figure out but I think that's a little bit later on. Um, I wanted to throw down some of the items inside which we should be doing here shortly to just grab what we needed to make this function as a spa. So I only have nail stuff in here uh, but you could use this as a spa because you can get massages and stuff and that's pretty realistic at a nail salon anyway. But I decorated it as if it were that. So don't have the tables that you lay down on. So uh, if that's what you're looking for, it's not that kind of spa. It's a nail spa. Uh, so anyway, I just started grabbing items down so I didn't forget anything and try to figure out what things I wanted to use. And then I start working on the floor plan, which is pretty simple. We have like an employee area in the back. We have a bathroom and like an entrance area and then one big room that has all of the nail stuff, all the pedicure and manicure areas, getting your nails done. I'm just, I'm really excited about it. And I really wanted this to look um, partially realistic, but I also just wanted it to look nice and functional for The Sims because how it works in the Sims is different than how it is in real life. There's going to be a Sim like in front of you not sitting down somewhere else trying to work on your nails or off to the side. Whereas in 
real life, there's probably somebody sitting across the table from you. So I had to figure it out based on that. But I think it came out really nice in the end. And I'm glad at the amount of clutter items we have that lend themselves to this idea, like the little stack of um, like the cluttered bit of nail polish bottles that we have in base game and how many swatches that has now that got updated when spot a got refreshed there's nail clutter that was added with the spot a refresh obviously we have these new chairs and stuff these little foot baths which are so cute um so i'm just adding all of that in here and trying to figure out a general layout i wanted to go for i knew i wanted to have the nail chairs over here like facing the wall and have like a place for nail polishes so i'm just trying to figure that out i thought about having a second row of them but i didn't end up keeping that in the end it's just a lot of experimentation and i left a lot of that in so you could see how i was going about this and what my thought process was uh because like i said it's kind of combining the idea of how it is in real life with how it functions in the sims and trying to get something that resembles what you would expect uh, but still works for your sims to be able to go and get their nails done so yeah over here, I did put down a couple of tables and then I was going through and trying to find some clutter. This is the nail clutter piece that we got from uh, the update, the uh, refresh. I keep forgetting the word refresh. The refresh for Spa Day, I think it's really cute. It has like the toe separators and nail polish remover and all of that and uh, a nail file. And then I'm just grabbing the little nail polishes as well. And I'm going to be putting up a shelf to put tons of those on the wall. At first, I was thinking I was going to have three shelves of them, but I think I'd just do two in the end. So I'm just plopping a bunch of those down and then I'm going to move them so that they're placed a little bit uh, more organically and change all the colors as well. Uh, I think it looks so fun. I really like this piece and it was the best way I could figure out to show that kind of part of the nail salon, like all of the different colors you can choose. So just wanted to incorporate that over here as a nice little nod to what this place is and uh, I think it came out really cute in the end and we're gonna put it next to sort of like a bookcase storage unit piece over here I should be grabbing shortly I believe it's from high school years someone I grab um, so I'll be grabbing that at first I thought I was gonna have two tables but I thought it looked nice just to have this one and I paired it with this piece which I thought looked quite nice and we get a mirror and stuff over here and a few other things obviously some decorative pieces. I haven't painted anything inside yet. I do bring some of that brick inside, which I think looks really, really nice in the end. Uh, but I do get this mirror over here. And one of my favorite things I'm not going to add until a little bit later because I don't think about it until later is we end up having a couple of different like diplomas by the nail salon uh, or by the manicure chairs because I feel like that's really realistic in both nail salons and hair salons for them to have like their credentials by their work area. And I just thought it was a nice little detail to include in the game. So I will be adding that. I also used those portraits you probably just saw that I placed above the chairs that came with Vintage Glamour. I thought they were perfect for this area. I just really like those. Uh, I can't remember if they stay exactly where I put them or not, uh, but I do use those in this space and I think they look beautiful. And then, of course, I'm using some of these curtains that are from the Desert Lux kit. And here is that brick painted wall. It looks so nice paired with this plant that I scaled up from the Blooming Rooms kit. I just, I love that plant. It's probably my favorite one in the game at this point. Uh, and then I decided to add these paneling pieces that came with the uh, Decor to the Max kit. I think they just added a lot to this back wall. And then I was just going through a bunch of different wallpapers, trying to figure out which one I wanted because I wanted to add a little bit of color to the space, but not make it too overwhelming. And I think we figured it out in the end. I think this looks really nice. And I'm going to move some of these paintings around uh, to fit a little bit better now that I have these paneling pieces to think about as well. Uh, it did take a little while to figure out the colors, but it comes together and I think it looks so nice with that paranormal wallpaper that I ended up using. And then over here, I just want to uh, get a like cute chair, like a decorative chair. And I specifically wanted one. I couldn't remember what pack it was from. I think it's from Get to Work though. It Because it to me, it looks like a shoe. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to look like, but to me, it looks like a high heel. Um, so <laughs> I wanted to add that here and then I'm going to get some clutter under the table as well. I ended up getting like a couple of baskets and things like that. And I believe the trash can that came with high school years as well, which looks like a basket. Uh, I just think it looks really cozy and like neat and organized. Like they have all of their supplies under there. And then I wanted to have an area for you to wash your hands and with paper towels and soap and all of that. So I'm just trying to figure that out over here. Uh, and uh, I got the dispensers that came with get to work. I love using those in public restrooms and stuff in the game. 
Uh, it's just so realistic to have a paper towel dispenser. I also decided you didn't need a mirror over here. I would just put one of these paintings. I thought that that was kind of fun. Uh, and then I'm going to be putting some windows here as well, just kind of tucking those in and trying to make the dumpster not super visible from the window, even though that's where it is. And of course, adding some more plants and stuff. These chairs just look so comfortable. I love them and I would like to go sit down. Although I, I've never had a pedicure and I don't think I want to. Like the idea of somebody touching my feet makes me kind of uncomfortable. But Getting my nails done has been so fun. So I don't know. What is your opinion? Do you get your nails done? Have you gotten a pedicure, manicure? What's your favorite thing to do? Do you get acrylics? Let me know. I would love to discuss since this is like a new hobby of mine. <laughs> I'm totally interested and I uh, would love to talk about it. Anyway, um, just adding some plants over here on this little plant stand, trying to decorate this space. And I think adding plants just really helps any space, but it really looks nice against the brick that I put in this build. And uh, then I'm just getting a lamp over here and I think a couple of decorations on the back of this uh, stand, if I'm remembering, but maybe not yet. I guess we'll find out, but I am getting a couple more decorations over here. I got this makeup tray, which I thought looked really nice, and I should be getting those diplomas that I had mentioned before. Uh, I also tried putting string lights, but I didn't like it in the end. I felt like they didn't stand out the way I wanted to. Maybe if they were more like the toddler string lights, that would have made a difference. I really love those, the like bigger bulbs. Uh, that's the kind I have in my office. I just prefer them. I think they're really cute. Uh, but here are those little diplomas that I wanted to add or little qualifications, certificates of whatever sort. And then we're going to start working a little bit on the entryway and where the front desk is. So I end up having a desk as well as the mini fridge that came with the Spade update. I really like it. It's so cute. It has little face masks in it and it just felt like it fit to be in this area. Maybe you can buy some products and stuff on your way out. Uh, but then we're back by the pedicure chairs and I wanted to get some decorations on these little stools between them. At first I was thinking these baskets of like oils and lotions, but I end up putting those on the floor in the end and we get like drinks on the little stools between. So I'm going to get that tray from Eco Lifestyle, which I think is so perfect. And uh, I just think this space looks so cozy and relaxing. And so I put a bowl over here as well. I've been using this bowl in a lot of builds lately and I don't know why it is, uh, but I figured it was maybe a place to like soak your hands or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, just getting some blinds on these windows and then adding some additional shelving over here by these like lockers that you need to change into whatever outfits at the spa. There are required spa items. So I put those over there and then I got this little chair over here, this little couch. It's just like a two seater. It came with the fitness stuff pack and it just feels so perfect in this space. It matches with what I was going for and... I had extra space I needed to fill in, so I thought that that was a nice addition. And then, of course, getting some plants because that's what I put in every corner of every build, especially this one. And so uh, I had to do that. I also was not sure if I wanted to keep the flooring here. And then I decided to split it half and half, which looks a little bit odd, but that's been what I've seen in a lot of places where there is multiple floorings in the different sections of salons. And I just thought it looked nice here. So that's what I ended up doing. And I think the entryway, I ended up making a wood floor as well. Uh, so we should be doing that here shortly. But um, just figuring out what I want to have behind the counter. I have these really pretty candles. I believe I get another thing of like flowers right there on the top of the fridge. And then we get some things on the walls in here. Just getting these beautiful wall pieces again. And then I end up putting these little art pieces that I have in the other room I just think they look so pretty and they feel like they fit this space really well. And then, of course, getting a fluffy rug out here. Uh, there's a lot of blue going on, but I think it pairs well with the red brick. I think it's really nice contrast. And then just getting a coat rack and stuff. All of your basic entry stuff that you would expect in here. Uh, and I think it looks kind of high end and fancy. And that's definitely what I was going for. I also wanted to add a cash register uh, just so it looked more realistic. So I'm grabbing that over here in like a little guest book and stuff like that. And there is that wood floor I had mentioned. And then we should be working on the employee area next and the bathroom last. I think that's how I go about it. But I guess we'll find out together because I don't fully remember what order I did things in, but I know that I finished it. 
Uh, so I definitely wanted to have laundry back here. I was imagining they'd have a lot of towels and stuff to wash. So I just wanted to include that uh, for realism. And it also helps fill up this backspace. I wanted this to be like a laundry room slash employee room. So there ends up being, I believe, like a microwave and fridge and stuff, as well as a table for them to sit down at. Uh, just like a little employee space. Uh, so I hope you and like you like how it comes out. It's kind of cute, I think. It's pretty small. I just have one table with four chairs around it. I wasn't thinking this was a big space anyway or a big salon. I didn't think a ton of people worked here. Just like a cute little one downtown and uh, I really like it. So here is that little fridge and the counter. I believe I just put like a microwave on one end and that's it with some cabinets up above it. I wanted to keep it pretty simple, but have what you would need if you want your Sims to like make a microwave meal or what have you. If you want to play as if your Sims own this building, that could be kind of fun. And then just got like a broom and stuff back here. Uh, and a couple more decorations. I believe we hang something on the wall over here above the microwave. I don't remember what that was for, but I think it looks realistic. I feel like in a lot of break rooms and stuff, there's just random like dialogue on the wall. Uh, so anyway, this is the bathroom. It's pretty simple in here. We just have the subway tiles. I do have a shower because it's required for a spa lot and I figured it'd be nice for your Sims to have, uh, but just a toilet and a sink and uh, it's pretty modern and simple and clean and white in here. But I did bring in the paneling on one of the walls to add some more personality and try and make it blend in with the rest of the build, which I think helped quite a bit. And then I added these little mirrors in here, which I think are from the fitness stuff pack. I thought that they were quite cute and then the green wall, not wallpaper, the green rug in here with the leaves on it I thought was also quite cute. So this is a piece I tried forever to put things in and make it look cute in the front of the lot and I didn't succeed in the end so that will go away but the amount of stuff I cut out of me trying to put in that little circle, oh my goodness, you would not believe it. This build would be twice as long just from me trying to make that circle work and it did not work. <laughs> so uh, what I ended up doing is just putting another one of these over here with a bench out front. Uh, it takes a while to figure out which bench to use, um, but that is uh, what I ended up doing. I thought it looks a little bit better, a little bit more realistic. And uh, then I'm just terrain painting, finishing up the landscaping, any last minute additions like additional trees. And uh, I'm trying to think if I add anything else outside or if it's just changing colors of things and adding trees. Oh, wait, I fill this out a little bit more. Uh, to make it look more realistic, like it lines up with the curb. And then I put a box over here for the trees to be growing out of. I thought that that looked a little bit better. And then I changed the bench out and I think that's pretty much it. But regardless, we're about to head on into screenshots. So I really hope you enjoyed this build. It was really fun. Let me know what other community lots you would like to see. And if you did like this, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very, very much for watching. Enjoy those screenshots and uh, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Bye.